Good morning, welcome to this morning's devotion. It's Wednesday, March 3rd. Tonight's our midweek service at 6.30. You can come in person. I think nine people have signed up to be there in person so far. Uh, there's 20 chairs set up, or 18, 20. Um, and then the Zoom link has been sent out via email and also from this Facebook page as well. Uh, this morning I'm reading someone else who submitted some verses that they like, and I'm going to read them this morning. This one's from 1 John, uh, chapter 3, verses 11, and then 16 through 18. And I'm reading from the Common English Bible version. It reads, This is the message that you heard from the beginning. Love each other. This is how we know love. Jesus laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. But if someone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but refuses to help. How can the love of God dwell in a person like that? Little children, let's not love with words or speech, but with action and truth. <clears throat> yes, I often grew up thinking that uh, I was pretty quiet. And uh, uh, words um, were cheap, <laughs> right? As I'm a preacher, <laughs> words are cheap. <laughs> But, but words didn't say as much as action. <clears throat> um, and grew up believing that I, if, if, you know, if you help people um, and ask for help, it's a wonderful, um, I'm going to call it circle of life, circle of life. I, I know Lion King, but um, it really is true that, that we, we express our love in many different ways. Um, I know some people that are very, very talented in speech and talk and have wonderful use of words and others who are very quiet and um, do things behind the scenes and, and do things without recognition, but um, knowing that they're bettering the life of somebody else. Um, James has a lot to say about this too, showing your faith and through action in this too. And, and how hard that really is in a lot of ways. If I'm driving home and I see someone in the corner with a sign, um, oftentimes I don't stop. I don't don't say anything. I don't sometimes make eye contact. And um, my actions speak louder than words in that case. Um, I, I say to myself, well, I've got to get home because I've got to do this or that and the other thing. And, um, you know, when life was simpler, you know, we lived on the farm, when life was pretty slow, you took the time to do things uh, for other people. And now life is so fast, we don't have time. And that's a shame because it's Jesus made time for all of us. I mean, he made time even on his way. I mean, he was interrupted um, <clears throat> and, and did some healing on the way to Jerusalem. Um, he had his eyes focused, but he still once in a while would stop and, and help people too. But um, how you how you love how you love another person is, is tricky sometimes. We can be overly helpful uh, to the detriment of someone else. Um, we can help in ways that are not helpful, but we think are helpful, but are not to someone else. Um, maybe I guess that's where words come in, and you ask questions: um, Would this be helpful? Or what, what, what do you need? Or how can I help? Um, those are the kind of things that, you know, when Jesus lays his life down for others, um, taking himself out of the middle of things, and, and it's not all about me and, and my need to help, but focus on the other person and their need to be helped, or they're asking for help. Um, so we have to be mindful of that. It's not, we have to help because it fills our needs, but we're looking to help the needs of others, and they may not want our help, and that's something we have to realize, too best way sometimes is to love someone is to, to let them ask for it and, and let them accept it um, but be okay with not if that's what they want if that's what they need uh, so taking ourselves out of the middle of that is difficult as well but uh, something we all work on we all work on that um, yeah so let us pray the gracious and loving God uh, help us to love you uh, a fraction of how you love us Help us love our neighbors 
as we love ourselves. It, it goes a lot, a lot of different ways. We have to love ourselves, love our neighbors, and to find the best ways to do that. Help us to be discerning, and to be patient, and to take ourselves out of the middle of things so that we can best uh, show our love. In your name we pray. Amen. So until tomorrow, blessings on today.